There's so many women who are really, really active in conservation, and I don't feel that they always get the credit. Of all the other animals I could have chosen, I chose those, and they determined the rest of my life, pretty much. We'll follow you. I work with really big birds. Not a lot of women work with really big birds. I like my job and I like animal behavior. When I started working, I was the only woman. We are strong ladies who are working hard each and every day to protect their animals. Mantas, they're just such gentle creatures. And the more that we learn about them, the more we realize how in trouble they are. We need to have a self-sustaining ecosystem. Human beings are happy, wildlife are living in harmony with local communities. Now there's no that balance. I just want to lie down. Ooh. Human elephant conflict. The problem is huge. One of the things we do is make awareness within the local communities. If the initiative comes from them, it will be sustainable. We're going out there to teach children about the rhino poaching. Penguins were least concerned until 2015. Penguins have gone from considered least concerned to the most illegally trafficked animal in the world. One of the biggest threats to mantas has been these fisheries for them, where people are actually targeting animals to be able to extract certain body parts. We had to put a stop to the trade in meerkats. I realized this thing is not going to make it. 7,200 tons, confiscated. I think you have located the animal now. Just be really careful. I'm going to try very hard not to cry. One day we would just wake up, open the paper, and it would say, elephants are now extinct. And we'd be like, what happened? My life has been a continual battle, always having to be the best or near the best. They didn't believe we can do this job, but we are doing it greater than the men's. I was even told I couldn't work in the field because it's too dangerous for women. Certain men thought that they could take advantage of what they perceived as a weakness in me. Um, and they found out the hard way. Even the women, we are the protectors of the animals. They started out of nothing. They're coming here into the wild. It's empowering. If you concentrate training the youth, they'll be good ambassadors, doing things which are not detrimental to our environment. Everybody in the conservation world, they think of themselves as separate from each other. If we work together, we would bring a chance. Women are just so incredibly strong. There is so much power in collaboration and lifting one another up. A woman can do anything. I think it's disgraceful the way women's efforts especially in Africa, have been ignored. We've opened doors to other young women who can take the torch on from us and carry on saving what is left of this planet. Without even knowing, I didn't realize I'd stepped into this hole. I'd step into it again tomorrow. Yes, I might cry when days are tough, but if a woman finds an inner strength, then there's nothing that can stop her.